everyone and welcome back to our channel my name is Dima Otitu and I'm a developer advocate here at Timescale in today's video I'll be sharing with you one of our latest features which is called the one-step policy for continuous aggregates for our new users who have no understanding of what continuous aggregate is or what continuous aggregate policy means, which is what this video is going to be about, I would advise you to pause this video, go ahead and watch the video where my colleague extensively explain what they mean, how to use them and with great examples, then come back and continue with this video. I'll be sure to link the videos and our documentation in the description box. That will give you a better understanding of this particular video. But going forward, the Timescale DB Continuous Aggregate has to be one of the most valuable features for Timescale DB, but it had a limitation of not letting users add more than one policy at a time, which wasn't very simple and straightforward for our users. But with our new one-step continuous aggregate policy, multiple policies of continuous aggregates can be added, removed, or modified by a single command. How amazing does that sound? So these policies could be the refresh policy, compression policy, or retention policy. But it is also important for me to mention that this particular feature is only available for continuous aggregate. It isn't available for all hyper tables in general. But before we proceed, if this is your first time on our channel, a very big welcome to you. Do well by subscribing to get more updates and useful information from us. And if you end up enjoying this video or learning from me, do well to give me a thumbs up as it helps YouTube push out our videos to more users who might find them beneficial. So with all this being said, guys, let's get into the video. All right, guys, so I'm going to be sharing my screen with you guys and I'll be showing you my terminal and all the queries I'm going to make. So if you're currently here on this stage with me, it means you currently have your hyper table and I'm going to first of all create a continuous aggregate. If you don't have any continuous aggregates created yet, um, you can um, take a look at mine and see how I did it. But I know that if you watched the video where my colleague explained it extensively, you would know how to create a continuous aggregate. So I'm going to quickly um, paste this query here. I'm going to be calling it stock candlestick daily. Why I'm using this is because I have a stock stable and yeah, I'm going to be querying from um, my stocks table and now I'm going to create this continuous aggregate um, for a daily continuous aggregate right so you can see here time bucket one day time as day and then symbol and also have my max as price high the first last and minimum value in price so I'm going to quickly create this continuous aggregate so you can see here that it's currently creating but it's telling me that refreshing continuous aggregate um, stock candlestick daily and they're giving us a hint that use with no data if you do not want to refresh the continuous aggregate on creation. So why I also like um, using Timescale DB is the fact that in as much as I'm a developer advocate here is the fact that your errors or whatever warning you have is also being shown to you as you proceed. So we are going to wait for it to create our continuous aggregate and you can see here that our materialized view has been created. So now that we have our continuous aggregate, I'm going to first of all check if we have any policy at all. So we have this command here, which says select um, timescale db underscore experimental. So if you notice here, you can see that it's showing experimental because this is still, and uh, we're still experimenting this particular feature. So you can see here timescale db underscore experimental dot show underscore policies. So I want to see all the policies that are currently in this continuous aggregate. So when I hit enter, you can see here that so far we don't have any policies so with this command you can actually view all your policies right so now that we've seen that we have no policies i'm going to first of all go ahead and create a new policy so we can see here that i'm saying that we should select timescale db underscore experiment underscore add underscore policies so now this is our awesome feature guys Previously, if you wanted to create a policy, you have to create them separately. You will have to create your continuous aggregate refresh policy separately. You have to create your retention policy separately and you have to create your compression policy separately. 
but now we can create all of them at the same time so if you see here you can see that i'm saying that um from our stocks um stock candlestick daily um continuous aggregate we are setting our refresh start off to be 15 days and 15 days interval and then we can see here that our, our refresh and offset is one day interval and then we have our compress after 20 days and then we have our drop after 25 days and then you can see here that we are also adding if not exist equals true because if you don't add it sorry about the noise if you don't add it you might experience an error if it already exists so now i'm going to hit enter you can see here the compression not enabled on continuous aggregate enable compression before adding a compression policy so what this means is that for you to enable the compression policy we have to tell it that we need it to actually allow compression policy and for us to be able to do that we're just going to add, add this very simple query so what we have to do now is to just say alter materialized view and then we are going to put our continuous aggregate and then we set that timescale db dot compress instead of false which is what is currently seen it as we are going to change it to true so this will allow us set our compress um policy so when i hit enter it shows that alter materialized view has already occurred so now i'm going to go ahead and create our policy so by the time i hit enter we can see here that our policy has been created so for us to be able to be sure that it's been created all we just need to do is to show all policies so remember we've already run it before so we are just going to go back to select timescale db underscore experiment dot show underscore policies and then when we hit enter voila you can see that we have all our policies guys imagine if you had to do this one after the other one after the other but now with just this simple command of add policy and then you set all the values of all the policies you want to add it can be easily done so if you can see here we have our policy name we have policy compression and then we have what we set it as if you come here you can see that we set it for the compress after to be 20 days if you come here you can also see that our compress after is 20 days our compress interval is 35 days and then we can also see that we have our policy refresh continuous aggregate we have our retention policy as well so this is very exciting and interesting and there are other things we can do so now let's say for example that we want to maybe remove one policy or we want to remove all the policies we can also say oh i made a mistake when i was trying to set these policies i want to modify them we also have that as well so it's very very easy to modify um, some of the policies we have here so i'm going to do that by just running this simple query oh i made a mistake in naming my continuous aggregate so i'm going to quickly edit that so it's supposed to be candlestick daily so now we can see we have to use the timescale db alter policy and we pass here our continuous aggregate and then we want to reset our refresh and offset to infinity and then we also want to refresh um uh, refresh that offset to be five days interval and i'm going to close this bracket i think i made a mistake here so quickly um this bracket i need to close it so once i do that once i do that and hit enter we can see that we've altered our policy but for us to be sure that it actually happened we can confirm by you know telling it to show us um, all our policies so if we see here now you can see that our refresh start of policy has been changed to five days instead of the 15 days that we had previously so now you can see that it actually modified and then you can also see that um, the refresh and offset the refresh and offset is infinity now there's something i need you to know so if you want to pass a null value right if you want to pass a null value to your refresh policy the, with this new update all you just need to pass is infinity as you can see here before we had one day interval but now because we set it to infinity it does now set it to null so if you want to pass a null value all you just need to simply do is to pass infinity as the value so now you can see here that we can simply modify our policies 
with one single command guys so now let's say for example so now we've been able to create new policies we've been able to alter our policies we can see all our policies and now what if we want to remove all the policies or you maybe just want to delete one policy right so what we just need to do is very easy as well so here we can see that I've already written our query to be select timescale db underscore experimental. We are going to be using the remove policies, but I just want to remove only our policy compression. So um, you have to pass the particular policy that you want to remove. So by the time we hit enter, we've removed our compression policy. If you're doubting me, all we just need to do now is to, for us to be able to show that it actually removed it, we just have to show policies. And when we show our policy, you can see here that the policy we have left, we no longer have our compression policy, which was the first. Now, if you view it, you can see that all we have is our policy refresh continuous aggregate. We have our retention policy, but we do not have our compression policy. So this is our new updates and i hope that you guys enjoyed it the way i did because i know that this is way more simpler and way more efficient as compared to what we previously had where you have to do this one after the other if let's say you want to even remove all the policies at the same time all we just need to do is to use one single command to remove all policies at the same time which is um timescale db underscore experimental dot remove underscore all dot policies and then we pass the continuous aggregate name so now when i hit enter you would see that it's going to remove all of it to prove that let me clear this so it's um, cleaner we just go and we show that show policy you can see that we have no more policies everything has been removed this is, this is the update we have for you guys. I just want to know um, if you have any questions regarding this, be sure to leave it in the comment section as well. But then there are also times when you can run into some issues when it comes to maybe retention gap or overlapping. Let's say for example, right, that I want to create new policies. So let's say for example that I have um, this query that I want to add new policies, right? And let's say that for our um, refresh start offset, I'm setting 15 days interval, refresh end offset one day interval, which is okay. And then I come for my compress after and it's still 15 days. You can see here there is an overlap between our compress and our refresh. So if I'm going to hit this now, you're going to see that it will throw an arrow which says that Oh, I made a mistake with what did it is. So they said, um, and this bad daily does not exist. I made a mistake. So, um, let me, sorry, let me quickly fix that. So, um, I got the, <laughs> I got the, um, co continuous aggregate name wrongly. So if I do this now, you can see that the refresh and compression policies overlap. So whenever you encounter this error, just make sure that your um refresh um and your compression um policies are not overlapping so what this simply means is that i have to just um edit i have to just adjust my compression uh, my compression policy so by the time i do that i'm going to change this from 15 to 25 or 20 and then when i hit enter you can see that all our policies have been added if we want to be sure that it's added we can just um, show all policies so by the time we show all policy we can see that we have our compression policy retention policy and continuous aggregate policy so this is the update i have for you today i hope you were able to learn from me and i hope it was also very easy one thing i'm going to do is to make sure that i leave a documentation for you in the description as well if you want to have access to these queries and try out what i did in this particular video let me know what other updates or what other video you want to um, see from us and we'll be sure to create that also leave in the comment section what you think about this new update i'm excited to you know use it for other things let me know if you're someone who is currently using our continuous aggregate are you happy to see this very new update from us if yes please be sure to give us a thumbs up i would know and then also leave it in the comment section so this brings me to the end of this particular video i hope you were able to learn and also enjoy the video thank you so much for watching if you haven't liked our video or subscribed to our channel 
channel yet please do that because we have more updates coming for you guys very exciting things as well and then turn on your notifications so you know when next we post with that being said guys i remain dima otitu and i will see you in our next video bye guys